Team Teaching is a collaboration between two teachers in remote locations through the use of technology. It allowed us to step outside the norm, it allowed us to do something new, but it also allowed us to talk and work in really concrete ways about how to communicate. Marianne, do you guys want to, should we just shift back and forth among the students? Yes. Having students from the two colleges uh, come together in, in small groups, working on a Google Doc where we've posted uh, an assignment, let's say, for the analysis of a poem. And they are trying to, the students together as a group, are trying to come to some kind of understanding of the content, uh, the techniques, the devices that are used, but they do so in a joint way. To communicate in the virtual world, which is something that everybody is doing in more social environments, Facebook and Twitter and things like that, but to learn how to do that in an academic context, a professional context, which is really something that is going to be, I think, valuable to students um, as they continue in their academic and professional careers. What would you consider sort of living a full life, or what's the best way to live a full life? The best way to live a full life is to live long, you know, is to live uh, for a very long time. Uh, I think it's really important for the future that we stop seeing ourselves as insular institutions uh, that are kind of closed, trapped in themselves, and we have to see ourselves as, as part of a very large network. And VTT is a way of feeling that we're part of a greater whole, that we're interacting with, with, with other institutions. And I think that that is the world of tomorrow. One of the goals of VTT is trying to help students learn about different cultures, to have intercultural experiences. I found this VTT interesting. I'm now more interested to do like internships in other places. Because we are working in a virtual environment, talking with someone else requires a lot more open-mindedness. I think there is more interpersonal skills involved in this rather than really technological skills, because it's really all about being receptive with the other person, listening to her, and also expressing our ideas. How do you, uh, what's, your, what's your best tactic at uh, coming up with new stuff? With VTT, you're opening yourself up to the intrusion of another person, which can be very intimidating, but ultimately it's, it's really um, beneficial because you have someone participating, um, contributing, critiquing, and that has really allowed me to be much more reflective and much more conscious of the choices that I'm making when I'm trying to draw connections between content and idea and pedagogy and assessment. So this, I would say, is the most valuable part of the experience for me as a teacher.